Thanks for joining us at Renewal Biz for the release of our new power pad. It's called the Nomad PDU. It gives you an option other than your hardcore dual battery systems where you're locked into the vehicle, wherever you're going to park and etc. to run your lighting, your fridging and all those types of things. So what we've done with this unit is we kept the weight down. We haven't lost anything in power. In fact, we've increased the power outage. So at 80% DOD on a 60 amp power, you'll be able to get 48 amp power of usable power from that. We also now have the option of 100 amp power. They're both lithium and they're both NMC battery style. So they are typically used in your electric uh, motorbikes, bicycles, scooters, and those types of things there. So they're very, very stable. The picture that you would have seen prior or in the beginning of this tutorial, that is the brand new unit that has everything across the front. It also has dual screens. It has a voltage screen and it also has a draw. So it tells you how much power you're actually pulling out on your accessories, for example. The other thing is we've moved the five volt uh, USB around the front. And that's in consultation with everyone at the end user level and also people in the industry. And we built this from the ground up specifically uh, in discussion with people for what they require in the market and try to keep it as versatile as we can. So marine, four wheel drive, camping, and uh, you know any other type of uh, recreational need of the power distribution you might So need. let's take a look at the unit close up. So as you can see, very streamlined and matte black. You've got your input here it's for your uh, uh, regulated solar panel uh, inputs and then you've got unregulated over here. On and off switch for the whole unit here. You can turn the pad on and off or the actual unit outputs on and off as you like. The new units has the USB again across the front and this unit over here for the uh, charger moves over to this side. So again, that gives you a little bit of a look and as you see, I'm holding this at 60 amp hour. Very, very slim. You can slide this pretty much anywhere you like. So three cigar socket. Again, people still want to keep their cigar socks. They like them. I think they're a bit bulky. Um, not necessarily, you know, the, the best thing in the market. However, everyone's got them, and it also has an angle socket. The other thing is we've done is we've added another 2.1. So there's a 2.1 point here and another 2.1 here. All the outputs are 10 amp. Okay. The unit itself, maximum output 20 amp. Okay. It will trip out after that, and then all you do is take the load off. Click the switch on and off, and then it will reset. Okay, there's no need to worry about fuses and things like that. It runs an MPPT controller and BMS internally. Okay, so it's a very, very smart unit. Again, the weight, very, very light, seven kilo, around a seven kilo, six and a half for the um, 60 amp power, about 10 and a half, 11 kilo for the uh, 100 amp power, compared to your gels, uh, AGMs, etc., uh, in around 35 plus kilo mark. So this can quite easily be carried around. Okay, but you don't lose anything in power. Okay, it looks quite small, and it is. 100 amp power and the 60 amp power are the same size. How do you charge a unit? We do have an AC DC charger that you can uh, purchase with the unit. That's seven and a half amp power you can charge at, and that will plug into the Anderson port. So what we've done is we added an Anderson, which everyone wanted to have added to the unit. That's fine. Everyone has them, and that's for your regulated solar input. Okay, maximum input on the unit is 10 amp. Unregulated solar over this side, we've kept solar poles. I know people have varying thoughts about these. However, you've got to remember if you're out in the bush, and everyone has different types of connections. They want a blue one, a red one, a grey one, who knows? Uh, at least you're able to strip a wire and you're able to put some power into the unit. Okay, run through here. I've got this currently plugged into the vehicle and it's now charging. You can see the red light there, it's telling me it's charging. Now I've got the accessories on the vehicle, so it's putting a couple of amps through. Okay, it's not putting a huge amount. So what you'll say to me is, okay, can I run my, my fridge when I'm driving the car and will it charge? Well, technically speaking, yes, you can run the fridge and we will just plug it in now to give you an idea of what happens. Now it's plugged into the vehicle, let's plug this, this Waco in. This is a really old Waco, so it's an old and trusty one, but it does use a lot of amp. It'll kick on in a moment, and then you'll find the light will go off here. This is not a fault, okay? That's actually a smart unit. It's taking the power directly from the vehicle and sending it straight to the fridge, because the power outage from here is only a couple of amp, and the fridge is drawing about three and a half to four amp at the moment. So what the unit will do is it'll bypass, send it all through there. It's not charging the unit. Okay, so I could actually have one light running, for example, and it will take a charge because it might only be pulling up half an amp, for example. So that's higher, that means the excess is going here and it's charging. If I pull the fridge out at the moment, again the light goes out. And, sorry, light, light comes back on. So it is now charging again, so it's putting it in a couple of amps. So it'll trickle charge. So I've had this on yesterday all day, just running, uh, sitting around 12.6, fully charged about 12.6. It will vary between 12.5, 12.8 and the DOD 80% discharge will be around about 8.4 volt uh, before this trips out. So extremely versatile, uh, very easy to carry around, so if you're going fishing, etc., um, or you know, not being restricted to any, uh, any particular uh, camping site. The other thing the 2.1s are great for, if you're running lighting off, for example, I've got a light running on here, which is about point, uh, point zero one seven. This runs about 300 lumen for one light. I actually do run this in the C container. I've got 14 of them connected 
to this uh, into one port, uh, 2.1. I don't need to run these huge SIGA socket uh, plugs for an example. Okay, so it's giving you the option. Your PMX and your JK trailers are coming out now with 2.1 uh, sockets as standard for all the lighting and such. So it's kind of going that way. We're trying to keep the unit as small as we can and we put everything on the front so you can actually jam the unit where you like. So the sides are all clean, the backs are all clean. You can simply run some uh, Velcro, uh, double sided tape on Velcro and put that under the seat for an example and you don't really have to sick a flex it all in. So we've kept it again, something that everyone can use and gives you another alternative to running your uh, uh, a dual battery system where you've got to have a lot of smarts involved in putting them in. So there's nothing wrong with it, it just means that from the perspective of someone like myself, I just like to go fishing, camping, forward driving, and I don't want to be stuck to the vehicle uh, to run my power. I just like to be able to move around wherever I like. And I also don't want to carry 35, 40 kilos uh, worth of battery around. And on that note, that 35, 40 kilos you've got in battery, if you're running that into a trailer, for example, that can be the difference you having to run heavy duty springs. So, you know, the difference of 25 to 30 kilo. It's a big difference in a trailer, for example. So that's where this comes in handy. At the moment, we don't run them in, we don't run them in uh, parallel and we don't run them in sequence. I'm sure that in the future, and we have tested and we can do it, but it has to be built from the factory that way so that the monitors meters run uh, between the two units, either 24 or 12 volt, and how they're actually sharing the load. So that'll come out in, in probably the next six months. Um, however, there's plenty of power here for uses for fridge and some lighting when you're going camping. Um, again, it gives you the option of regulated, unregulated solar, um, and, and then you've got the AC DC charger as well. So look, hopefully this gives you enough information to, uh, to, to ponder further on it. Um, have a look at renewablebiz.com.au and our partner's website's on there, so you'll see access antenna on there for your local metro area and battery all types of the southwest um, and uh, also Queensland. So if you want to email us, info at renewablebiz.com.au, you more than happy to pass any questions that are taken along to the uh, technicians. Um, and more than happy for you guys to go straight to the, uh, the partners uh, through the website and contact them. They're more than helpful and uh, I'm sure they'll help you out wherever you can. So again, the Nomad PDU, new to market, we're very excited and uh, it gives you a, a great alternative to what you might be currently using or coming up to uh, your, your next trip. So again, thanks for your time and uh, I'm sure I'll miss something on this tutorial and I'm sure I'll have to update it probably the next couple of weeks. So um, again, thanks for your time and we'll talk again soon. Bye.